Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. A, and today I'm doing book talk for grades one to four. Today's book is Benicular, A Rabbit Tale of Mystery by Deborah and James Howell, published by Athenaeum. It's, it's a story that focuses on the Monroe family who have two sons and two pets, a dog named Harold and a cat named Chester. The pets can talk to each other. The Monroes adopted a rabbit that they found at the movie theater. They named it Benicula, which is a combination of the word bunny and Dracula, the movie they saw the night they found the bunny. Chester the cat is a very smart cat. He can read and when he read some book, he is convinced that Benicula is a vampire. He notices that Benicula sucks the juice out of vegetables instead of eating them, sleeps all day, is up at night, can get out of his cage without anybody helping him, has fangs for his front teeth, or at least they look like fangs to Chester, and the top of his head looks like a cape. Chester tries different ways to prove that Benicula is a vampire. One funny thing he did was wrap himself in garlic and also wrap Benicula's cage in garlic because he had read that vampires were afraid of garlic. Of course, the family thought all of these little antics that he pulled were really strange. And because of his strange behavior, they took him to the vet and poor Chester had to go under cat therapy with the vet. The Monroes, all the time that Chester is doing all these strange things, do not think there's anything unusual about Benicula. Harold also agrees with the Monroes and he doesn't participate with Chester. So as you can see, the mystery in this first book on Benicula is, is Benicula a vampire? It is never answered in the book, and of course the Howells do not think that there's anything unusual about Benicula. This is the first book in the Benicula series written by James Howe. The rest of them are here. This one is, whoops, starting the wrong way. This one is Halliday Inn, Celery Stack Stalks at Midnight, Nighty Nightmare, Return to Halliday Inn, Benicula Strikes Again, and Benicula Meets Edgar Allan Poe. James Howe also wrote a series on Benicula that are ready to read. And these are not all leveled the same. So one is leveled L, one is leveled M, and one is leveled N, so that it has a wide range of reading ability, but there are also books about Benicula. In addition, as a spin-off series, James Howe wrote a series called Tales from the House of Benicula, and it introduces a new dog who's a dachshund that they also adopt and becomes part of their family. But there is one, there's also five books in that series, and they are leveled at Q. Benicula itself is also leveled at Q. Now, in our picture book series, amazingly enough, we also have two books by James Howe that are about Benicula. Here's one that says, Creepy Crawly Birthday and Hot Fudge. There's a Hot Fudge title in each of the series that James Howe wrote about Benicula. That's it about Benicula. I want to remind you that we have a book talk every Monday. So I'd like you to watch again next Monday for book talks, grades one to four.